Now, if you want a real return on investment, time investment, that is, what I'm going to show you today is it. This is possibly one of the quickest things I'll ever show you how to do, but the time that you will get back, particularly if you have lots and lots of bank accounts with lots of transactions coming in, this is going to be a lifesaver. So let's get going. So first of all, we want to go to our bank accounts and we want this particular one highlighted in blue I've chosen. Now here we have, let me find one where we have a repeat. If you see already it started to match off some of the ones that it feels it recognizes and if you're happy with those all you need to do is just go match and done. You can speed that up by actually clicking on the ones that you are happy with in bulk so you can just go click 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 come up here and click accept selected and it's done again so you don't have to actually go through the process of clicking each one but I've got something even quicker than that, that where it doesn't even come in here and it's done for you. So let's take an example. If I, um, let's see, we have books by Bessie. In fact, let me do it that way. Right, okay, so there's a, you can see them all together now. So I've, I've sorted that by name, which is another quick way of doing it. If you sort by name, then it's easier for you to go down and bulk click. So let's take books by Bessie. We have this one here and this is a payment out now it said it's matching the expense it thinks it knows what it is if you want to have a look at what that is broken down as you go to add and it shows you the breakdown so we're happy with that it says books by Bessie uh, we're gonna actually call that what should we say that it, we'll say notes payable I'm making it up obviously yeah now if you see here when I've added that it's now changed and said we'll set books by Bessie to notes payable from now on now if you're happy with that you just click add and every time it sees books by Bessie it will change it in the bank transactions and all you have to do is click match and done and as you can see it's already done it here where this before was saying uncategorized income or uncategorized expense rather but just say we we want to change that we want to actually beef that up a bit so if we click edit setting and we can click here create custom rule and this takes us into the rules page so I'm going to call this rule books by Bessie and it's for money out because we may want to call books by Bessie money coming in something completely different because it's a different code maybe books by Bessie's notes payable but books by Bessie coming in is royalties so we be specific so it's only coming into this if I'm going to leave it as all accounts um, probably don't need it for MasterCard to be honest but let's just say that. So we pick the account that we want it to apply to. The description contains books by Bessie. Now you could even be very specific um, and say books by Bessie and the amount equals $75. So if you had different monies going out to books by Bessie, but one specific one you always wanted to account for in a certain way, you could. But for this exercise, we won't go too deep into that. So we've chosen the account it's coming out of. It's money out. We've given it a name. It must say books by Bessie in the detail that the bank transaction downloads. It's an, it's an expense. The payee is books by Bessie, the payee, the supplier. The category or the nominal code is notes payable. Now, this is where it gets really lovely. Leave the memo blank and it will just put in the memo that is downloaded with the transaction. But you can overwrite that and put in what you like. But right here is the pièce de résistance. Automatically add to my books. If I click that and then save it, every time Books by Bessie is paid out of either of these accounts, and it has that in the description of the downloaded transaction, it will automatically be reconciled. So let me save that. Now, it won't do it for transactions that have already been accepted. So if you've already seen some transactions and you've clicked on them, it won't do it historical. It'll only do it for brand new, fresh ones that have come in. So if I save that, yep, and it said two transactions have been added to your books. So if I come back in here, and look, I will find that those, remember there were two other books by Bessie transactions that were here? They're gone. This one hasn't been touched because it's money received. So it hasn't done anything. So can you see that? So what that means is you could come into your banking to do your, your bank transactions or your bank reconciliations rather. And they're already done for you. You don't even see them. Now, if you're paranoid, 
you just go into the in the QuickBooks and it will show you obviously what has been done to date and you can have a look you'll see here it also shows you that this is a rule so if you wanted to double check your rules you could come in here and scroll down and look at all the ones that were rules and just have a little quick check to see whether you're happy the other way to do it is from within the bank screen is to go up here to update and click the drop down box and you will see manage rules and the other way to do that then is to create a new rule and here it brings you into the same screen. The only difference is it's not pre-populated because the first one I did was me editing a rule that the bank had created and I've just customized it. This is a fresh new rule. But what you could actually do is go to a transaction if you wanted to um, to do it. So I'd say we picked a rental. Click on there and just, I, don't know, I always copy because I don't come above the type and just copy that one in fact let me do it from another opening a new link okay and manage rules new rule and the conditions would be here so the can so that would be the bank text yeah and do everything exactly the same. Now, I know some of you are going, oh my gosh I couldn't do that I'd be terrified but remember what I showed you earlier you can actually go in to what's in QuickBooks and just scroll down to the rules. The other way to do it is to create a rule and then let it run for a little bit and see if, that, if you're happy when you come in to do the review and you look at the ones that are matched. See if it's matching it correctly and you're thinking, you know what, it is doing it fine. I'm going to now automate it. And if you have any at the moment that are already matching correctly, literally just go in and create a rule from them. So just click on it. Go to add so you can see the breakdown of the transaction and take the bank detail and go on, add a new rule. When you, yes, we want to leave that saving. When you create a rule and it's automatically added, you'll see as well in the bank rule screen, you will see it will show you these all the way down that are automatic and you can go and edit them. And that is pretty much it. How much time can you save by doing that? Don't be afraid. Give it a try. You can always go back and check it. I hope that was useful. See you soon. Bye.